you know what, today's a beautiful day to go see the falls. He lived in nearby Belleville for years, but it's Glaucio Silva's first time visiting Patterson's Great Falls National Historical Park. You see on TV, but when you come here live and you see it yourself and you can smell, even when you walk by the bridge over there, you, the, the water, you splash on your face, it's a great feeling. It's, it's very nice that to know that we have that type of a waterfall here in the middle of, of a town. Around 300,000 visitors come to the falls every year, enjoying the natural beauty from below and from above, at least to the extent they're allowed. A pedestrian footbridge spanning across the falls has fallen into disrepair, making it unsafe to cross. Great falls. On Friday, Congressman Bill Pascrell joined Mayor Andre Sea in announcing one million federal dollars toward building a new bridge. The sun is shining on our city and shining on the symbol of our city. It provides a much easier way to get to the other side of the park with, with equally nice views. Currently, people have to walk all the way around, so it's, it'll just be more accessible. An additional million dollars will be used to restore a historic building right across the street, the Ivanhoe Wheelhouse. The first continuous roll of paper that was manufactured in the United States was actually manufactured here in Patterson. And there were a few paper mills. One of those mills is the Ivanhoe paper mill. It's one of the final pieces of this era of Patterson's history. That happened here in Patterson. It's the first planned industrial city. And people um, really, they, that's what they find really remarkable. It's not just the falls. Officials hope to have the pedestrian bridge reopened by September 2025. In Patterson, Jim Vassell, Pix 11 News.